guess so. I woke up this morning to an interesting email from Keto Evangelist, the company that puts on KetoCon. As you know, KetoCon 2020 was postponed until 2021 and they weren't offering refunds, but they automatically made your ticket available at 2021. So they just transferred your ticket and that was the plan. It's like, hey, okay, we're not meeting in Austin in 2020, but hey, see everybody in 2021. Well, I woke up to an email this morning that read this, an important announcement about Keto Evangelist LLC. To our wonderful Keto Evangelist community, we don't need to tell you what a rough year this has been. 2020 has been full of unprecedented and unforeseeable hardships for people everywhere. Keto Evangelist was also hit hard by the effects of COVID-19, particularly those felt across the live events industry. When we should have been making our final checklists to put on our fourth annual KetoCon event in 2020, we were instead scrambling to reschedule vendors and preserve non-refundable deposits for what we could only hope would be a successful, if postponed, 2021 event. Unfortunately, the loss of revenue as a result of the industry's uncertainty made the situation unsalvageable. We did everything we could, including putting on an online event for 2020, but it wasn't enough. Effective September 1st, Keto Evangelist LLC is shutting down. What? Now this thing goes on to talk about how there is a certain group of people that worked for Keto Evangelist that has now splintered off into their own company called Ketogenic Success. Uh, but like, for the most part, Keto Evangelist is over. Meaning that essentially like, KetoCon is over. I don't know. Okay, so then there's another company called Q1 Productions and it goes on to say, Keto Evangelist LLC will no longer present the KetoCon live event. Q1 Productions fully intends to host another live event when it is safe to do so. If that happens in 2021, as previously discussed, and as a courtesy to the exhibitors and attendees who have been so wonderfully patient with the troubles that befell KetoCon this year, Q1 Production will honor KetoCon 2020 tickets and sponsorships for the new event. Although currently planned for June 2021, we still cannot know for sure when a live event will be possible. So basically what they're saying is Keto Evangelist is shutting down. Basically the guy that runs Keto Evangelist doesn't want to do it anymore. He does not have the wherewithal to host these events, but there are a group of people that worked for him that was like, hey, we still want to try to do it. And he's all like, if y'all want to do it, that's fine. Keep me out of it. But basically nowhere in there did they mention refunds or money or anything. They're like, hey, this new company, Q1 Productions, definitely plans on putting on an event if possible, but we still don't know. So we need to know whether or not we're gonna get our money back. <sighs> Let me just back up and say that as a fellow entrepreneur, my heart like breaks for, I think his name is Brian, like the owner of Keto Evangelist. Like, I mean, running a business is so hard and like it, like you have to stay so lean, but I was also so surprised at like, wow, this one event that you couldn't have shut down your whole business. Like in my opinion, that's, that's a little over leveraged, you know, like if you're putting all your eggs into this one basket, like I'm not here to tell anybody how to run their business, but like it is really tough to just see how this one missed event can cause him to want to walk away. Like KetoCon, even though it was the third one last year, it was the first one that I had ever gone to. And it was genuinely life-changing. Like it was life-changing to be able to meet all of the people that I had seen online, to actually see them in person, to try all of these companies, like finally be in a place where like everyone was keto and everyone knew exactly what you were talking about and everyone had the same goals and beliefs as you. Because as you know, in our everyday lives, like it's pretty much just us. Like we are one of the only few keto people that we all might know in person. Most of our relationships are on the internet. So the fact that we could actually have a place to converge and to meet and just have that common understanding from the get go 
life-changing, you know? So I'm sad for him as an entrepreneur. I'm sad for just him for, you know, it's, it's your baby, it's your company. I mean, KiddoCon had the ability to like go all the way, to be like Comic-Con, like to be the premier conference for people in the keto diet. And yeah, there's tons of side conferences here and there, low carb this, keto this, everywhere else. But like it had, in my opinion, the, the chance to be the flagship conference for people on the keto diet. And so for him to just have to hang it up and be like, I can't do this anymore, like because of one missed event, that's crazy to me. But as distraught as I am for him and like the whole keto evangelist situation in general, I'm a little annoyed that they kind of just kicked the can down the road and like didn't mention the money at all. Because, you know, I know that's gonna be a lot of people's first question is like, I paid money to this company in order to attend their event. This company no longer exists. Where's my money? You know, you can't just transfer it to another company. Like, you know, people are gonna want their money back and rightfully so. And to not even acknowledge that and just be like, if this other company can in fact put on a live event, they will and your tickets will still be honored. You know, I feel like they could have at least just acknowledged that, you know, some people are gonna want their money back and either yes, we will be able to offer it or no, we won't. Like they didn't mention refunds at all. They just said, hey, if Q1 Productions can actually put on this event, you'll get a free ticket. But it's just like, we paid Keto Evangelist. So I'm just a little like, ugh, annoyed. I would like to know what's being done with it or what the plan is. Like, if we can have the event, this will happen. If we cannot have the event, this will happen. Like they, they did not give that second part. They're just like, we're still in limbo. And you know, if it turns out we can do it, you can come. That doesn't necessarily tell the full picture for me. And it's especially when you know for a fact that's gonna be one of the first things people wanna know is like, well, what about our tickets? So I was a little annoyed that they didn't at least acknowledge that, but at the same time, you know, telling people that you may get a refund in a year might not do much good anyway, because it's not like they're going to give refunds right now. Say you don't want to go to this new Q1 Productions event. They're not going to give you a refund right now. If anything, they might give us some refund options if it turns out Q1 can't even put on the event. Like, so I guess not mentioning the money because they weren't really planning on doing anything with the money now anyway or, or you know being able to give refunds now anyway i guess that's why they didn't do it but still it's a little strange to like i paid money to this company but this company is shutting down where where is that money you know where is that money but you know the thing is i've also seen a lot of other live events are planning on taking place in 21 like, like apparently there's like a big keto palooza in san diego that's gonna happen in june there is a keto convention that's gonna happen in las vegas in october i mean you know there's there's other things that are gonna pop up next year so that's encouraging that could be cool but you know part of me thinks that those were in limbo too it's like yeah we're throwing this event with an asterisk like we are moving forward as if we intend on having this event however due to the current climate this could change at any moment and you may or may not get a refund you know i'm a little wary of buying tickets to live events in 2021 like these conferences and whatnot like i'm just gonna hold off for a while what are your thoughts did you get that email? Do you have a ticket to KetoCon? Like, how are you feeling? Are you planning on going to any of these other live conferences in 2021? Comment down below. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, Watch Autumn Keto. I make weekly meal preps, weekly full days of eating, monthly weigh-ins, monthly keto crate unboxings, the occasional product review, recipe, crazy video with my family. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. You can also find me on Instagram, Facebook, and Patreon at Watch Autumn Keto. Thanks, and I'll see you later. Not at KetoCon. I mean...